do you want to be the sweet cutesy girl <laughs> hi how are you um it's so Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Orphea and I am back at you with another video. So for all of my new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Trophy Nation. For all of my um, existing subscribers, thank you so much for your continued love and support. Thank you so much for just supporting your girl throughout this entire um, year, basically. <laughs> Um, and for all of you who have not yet subscribed to this channel, please to go ahead and hit that subscription button right over there, along with the post notification bell so that y'all can be notified as soon as I drop these videos. So go ahead and do that right now. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. All right. So, um, for this video, what I wanted to get into was a question I've been getting asked a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And that is, um... Basically, what do I wear in my cam show? What do I do in my cam show? It, it, it's basically the same question in different ways. Like, can I not show my face in my cam show? Can I um, n not do this? The last question I got was, can I wear lingerie or whatever? Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to try and address in all of that in this one video. Um, I did respond to the lingerie question um, in a previous video, I'll be putting the link to that above here so you can see that video. But basically what it was is that um, for my site is not allowed to wear a lingerie. You have to be fully clothed. Um, yeah, but the more recent or more prominent question is basically how do you, how can you present yourself in your cam show? And I keep telling people, it is completely up to you. If you want to do... Um, dominance th that's up to you it's your cam show you you make the design it's a blank canvas and you make the design you just have to design it within the um rules and regulations of the site that you join so first thing you need to know the site that you join you need to know their rules you need to know the regulations that you, you need to know what they come with which Anything you're doing in life, you need to know what you're signing your name to before you go ahead and sign your name to it, before you go ahead and commit to it. You need to know your contract. Um, so once you figure out the rules of the site, and for example, my site and the part of the site that I'm on, because my site has two sections, which one section is the nude and all the other categories are nude and the other section which is my section is non-nude so my category does not permit you showing any body parts like it does not permit you to show anything right um so within your cam show within my cam show um and within the platform that i'm on i'm not allowed to show skin and because i'm not allowed to show skin i'll be banned I'll be banned, I'll be kicked off, I'll be booted off, I'll be blocked. If I have any money on there, it will not be paid out because I violated my contract. If I wanted to do the whole nudity thing, then I should have signed up with the whole nudity. But I didn't I, I didn't sign up for that, so I don't do that. But let's get into it. Now that we know that the part that I'm on you can't, cannot, because some people do not understand, can not, can't, should not um, be nude in my part of the platform. And that's basically the only rule. So how I dress um, moving forward is completely up to me. What I do moving forward is completely up to me. As long as I don't violate the fact that I don't rip anything off, then I'm good. It's, it's a blank canvas from there. That's just, that's the rule. Run with what you want to do. Think of what you want your cam show to be. Do you want to be the sweet cutesy girl? <laughs> Hi, how are you? 
um it's so nice to meet you my name is da 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 yeah um what's your name where are you from oh my god what's like what is it like there blah 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 all of that you know good jazz and um or you want to be the person who is more along the lines of um you have to obey me i want you to walk over there and pick that up now you need to call me in the next 20 minutes um you need to tip me a hundred dollars right now you want to be dominant then just be that if you want to um in pertaining to the clothes that you wear as long as you're not naked if you want to be you know wear a sexy kitten mask or you know one of those masquerade ball mask if you want to do that in your cam show you can there are people who are fascinated by the mystery behind the mask and they will come back to see that it's up to you it's it's your cam show even if you are nude even if you're on a nude platform and you want to cover your face you can you can't cover your face and be fully nude is your cam show you set it up how you want to set it up you you determine if you want your room to be pink purple blue black um orange you determine if you want to be in a long gown all the time you determine if you want to be in a short you know little mini dress you determine if you want to be in a ball gown um for your cam show you determine if you want to be you know um supergirl you determine if you want to be a marvel comic you determine if you want to be um sub-zero which is a mortal Kombat um or scorpio which is a mortal Kombat character you determine it's like Halloween all year round. <laughs> you can you can be you can be anything you want to be in your cam show. So don't think you need to limit yourself um being a cam model. You don't. Being a non-nude cam model, you don't need to limit yourself. You can it is your show. Set it up. Set up the appeal. Set up the allure. Set up the atmosphere that you want. It's it's your decision. It's your choice. And then let the people who are who who like those stuff gravitate towards you naturally. Let them be you know curious. Be be different. Be bold. Be be something else. You don't have to you know be showing your face. You don't, you don't have to be showing your tatas. You don't have to be, you don't have to be doing none of that. So for, I hope this, um, video answers all the questions <laughs> that is related to being, um, a non nude camel, um, in b being, you know, I hope it answers all the questions as it relates to how your camera should look, um, the conversations y'all have, um, how you should look, how you should dress, how you should act. I hope this video answered all of that because that's basically what it is. It's up to your imagination. Just as long as you have an imagination, you can, you can kill it in the cam world you literally can um for those who are just starting up with nothing at all it can be a little bit harder because buying all these costumes costs money and if you don't have the money in the first place to buy all these costumes then you're gonna have to like i said you're just gonna have to be creative there are creative ways to do stuff and people will naturally gravitate to you and come chatting with you so you don't need to be all self-conscious about what you do in your cam show what you do in your cam room some people will like it and some people won't and people will pay you to just be another version of you or just be exactly you you can be as geeky or as freaky or as spontaneous as you like being a cam model it, it's just up to you and up to your vision and up to what you want. So 
don't be, don't hold back. Don't be because, oh, um, Orpheus says she does the whole girlfriend experience. So, and she's a non-new camel. So I have to give the whole girlfriend experience in return. That is far from the truth. You don't need to give the girlfriend experience just because that's what I offer. You can offer something completely different and they'll love it. You can probably offer something completely different and make more money than me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So don't limit yourself. Explore, you know, think outside the box. Be bold with it. Be, be spontaneous with it. Be the vixen you've always wanted to be in public but never thought you could be. Um, regardless of your weight, regardless of your height, that's the beautiful thing about sitting behind a camera. You can basically portray anything that you want to portray out there in the camera. That's, and people will, you know, gravitate to that. People will pay to see that. So I don't want you girls to go limiting yourself. I don't want you girls to say, oh, well, Orphea is the whole sugar baby package or the whole virtual sugar baby package. So that's what I have to do. She she shows her face, so that's what I have to do. No, no, that's not what you have to do. It's not, it's far from it, it's far from it. You can be somebody completely different. You can put on, you can have blonde or blue eyes and with brown eyes and redhead in a mask and they'll love it they'll love the fact that I would like to know who is behind that mask and then they will they will spend a killing on you to find out who is behind it so ladies gentlemen my cam babies, my cam boos, my cam guys, my cam girls. Don't limit yourself. Just be bold. Be free with it. That's the beauty of camming. <laughs> Apart from the fact that it's something you can, you can basically, once you have your client base, you can basically make money anytime you want to. But besides that, you can be creative you can be an actress you can be an actor you can be you're the master and you determine what you want to do and and what you should do and how you should do it and people will love you so don't because they're paying to see you <laughs> so don't get intimidated by this it can be fun. It can be really fun. And getting to learn and know about other people is really, really fun. That's one of the things I love about YouTube. I get to meet people from all over the freaking world and I'm loving it. So um, that's it. <laughs> that's it for this video, guys. I, As I said, I hope I answered any and every question that is related to how you should act be and look inside of a camera show until the next one it's your girl love you all bye <laughs>